because you're gonna blow it. And when you blow it, you're gonna learn how to give yourself grace. Hey guys, this is Sarah from make a Wave Life Coaching. Welcome back. Okay, so we're gonna be talking about splitting. Have you ever heard of splitting? Splitting is when you, in your mind, split something from all good to all bad. Okay, you separate, let's just look at them. Let's just look at my favorite visual, yin yang. That's how my therapist taught this to me. The yin and the yang teaches us that good and bad, lightness and darkness, go together harmoniously. They kind of flow in and they flow out of each other. Splitting is when you try to take these two concepts and you try to split them into like two different silos. Okay, that um, isn't how life is. That isn't how people are, especially. Um, to say something is all good or all bad is almost never right. Um, and so that's what splitting is. It's a very dangerous thing to do to a relationship. Um, I know I'm a vacillator, as you guys know. Um, so before I did my work in therapy, you guys, and went to therapy school and did some healing, I was a major splitter. Everything, every person started out great because that's how I am. Give you the benefit of the doubt. And then when they hurt me or disappointed me, but mostly when I was activated around hurt, they went whoop right over into the bad silo from good to bad like that. Um, and then oftentimes that leads some of us to emotional cutoff. So I know I did that a lot um, in my past. Um, where once the person went into the bad c category, I couldn't tolerate them anymore, and I cut them out of my life. Here's one of the problems with splitting. It ruins your relationships. Here's another problem with splitting. We do not split others into good and bad unless we're doing it for ourselves. So what does this manifest like? Well, an extreme lack of grace for yourself, okay? That's how I was. I'm gonna tell you a little story. So when I was a young mom, my son was playing um, soccer, rec soccer for the first time, he was four. And I, I was like, oh, I, you know, earlier in the day, I was like, I gotta wash his uniform. Um, I think it wasn't even the first game. I don't know why I washed his uniform. You know, you make mistakes and work too hard in the beginning and figure it out later. So anyway, um, I didn't like pay attention to the clock. I threw it into the washer. And my washer was just, I don't know, I guess I just chose the really long cycle. I don't even know. But all of a sudden it was time to leave and the washer still had like 30 minutes left. And it was his first little soccer game. And, and I'm like trying to get the thing open. And I don't know, back then the washer would not open until the cycle was over. It was a, it's a front loader, it locked, it was locked. I tried turning it off, I tried unplugging it, I tried everything. So what ended up happening is I thought I was going to lose my mind and I was like in a total shame spiral, like I'm the worst mother, he's gonna be late for his first game. And I mean, I was raised like being late is the one of the worst things on the planet. Um, and that's how I still tend to view life a little bit. Um, and so anyway, there was nothing I did, I was powerless. So we rolled up to the game with a wet shirt and I have to tell you, I just felt like a piece of garbage. Um, I put myself in the all bad category over that one. So I went to therapy like I think three or four days later and I was telling her about it and I was still like, I just totally blew. I was like, I blew it. I cannot believe I can't even do something so simple like get a, wa a uniform wash on time and I'm a stay at home mom. This is my job. I should be better at this by now. And she was like, wow, this is a lot of intensity over a four-year-old soccer game. <laughs> which of course would be exactly what I would say to my clients. It would make you wonder, hmm. Okay, so um, basically what she was like explaining to me was like, Sarah, as a mom, you're good and you're bad. You're gonna do things that are good and bad, good or bad, and then the next day, bad, you know, whatever, blah, 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 harmonious. They're gonna move in, they're gonna move out. And then she said something that really stayed with me, which is like, in, in life, you're gonna be juggling a lot of balls. Some of them are glass, and you don't want to drop those glass ones because they're going to break. But some of them are just like crappy rubber plastic balls, and those will, those things, you drop them, they bounce them, you pick them up, put them right back in rotation. She was like, this is not a glass ball. And it blew my mind because I wasn't used to giving myself grace, okay? I wasn't raised 
my parents didn't give themselves a lot of grace. Um, I didn't feel that they gave us a lot of grace. And then in my life, I didn't give, I, I expected perfection out of myself pretty much all the time. Um, and guess what the problem with that is? When we do that to ourselves, then we do that to others. And I was doing it with my kids. It was like a really ugly, vicious cycle because nobody's all good. It's impossible. Nobody's perfect. So um, anyway, that is what I learned. And it changed my life. And I know it's gonna change your life too, okay? So that's kind of the first thing we're going to talk about. And then again, today's just the introduction. Come back next week because we're going to be digging really deep into this. The other area that actually inspired me to do this topic of splitting, this new series we're going to be in, why not split, is because I think this country is splitting. Um, I am a huge, I'm an Enneagram 8, which is the challenger, and I have a heart for justice, you guys. Um, I want everyone to see that Black Lives Matter. I just think that's the most obvious statement in the world. I want the church to be the leader in the social justice movement instead of like light years behind everyone else. Um, and so I, I get it. I have really strong opinions. Um, I'm super passionate, but I've learned again because I've learned not to split that every single person in my life, including I have relatives who are, they feel like, you know, the opposite of me. They don't care about justice. They care more about, you know, taxes, which by the way, the perfectly fine thing to care about because taxes can get very high, especially here in California. Um, and so I get activated, especially lately. And I wanna be like, you better agree with me or you're all bad. But that's not true. It is ignorance to say that or to think that. And what I'm concerned about, um, I don't know if you guys know I used to teach history before I went into the therapy um, life coaching world, but you guys, Abraham Lincoln told us, um, a house divided against itself cannot stand. And um, I want our whole country to stop splitting. <laughs> I want everyone on Facebook and Instagram to stop the splitting and to think of every single person in your life, your neighbor, your family, your boss, your friends, as this harmonious yin-yang whole. They're gonna have opinions that you don't like and that are different than yours. That doesn't make them any less intelligent than you or less, um, well, sometimes, okay, it makes them different than you, but not less than you, let's put it that way, okay? Um, so I don't know, that's the two things we're gonna talk about in this series. And I think it's really powerful. The first step is going for us to be to learn to accept that we ourselves are both good and bad. That alone, you guys, is gonna change your life because you're gonna blow it. And when you blow it, you're gonna learn how to give yourself grace. Oh my gosh, it's so beautiful. How to hold yourself accountable, but with grace. That's the ticket. Okay, um, then the next step is how to give grace to others and how to accept that they're good and bad, just like you. And then we're gonna be spiraling it out into what does this look like as a patriot, as a citizen, as a member of a democracy, okay? Um, and I think it's gonna be really beautiful and I, I really think it's gonna change your life, okay? So join us for this series. Come back next week. We drop videos mostly on Wednesdays. If you've noticed, today is um, I didn't drop till Friday. I blame that on this being, what is this? Week 5,800,002 or something of the pandemic? I don't know, but oh, I should have one of those weeks. You know, I don't, I'm gonna give myself grace and be like, oh, well, I'll drop the video on Friday. Did anyone even notice? No. It's fine. It's not a glass ball. Don't, you know, chill, Sarah. So come back next week. You too can learn how to chill. It'll be amazing. I thank you so much for joining us. Go to my website, makeawaylifecoaching.com and subscribe. I send out emails once a month with content that's just for my email subscribers. And I think it's really good. And I think that you'll want it. Um, at the bottom of every page is the subscribe box. So go ahead and just plug your email in there. I will never spam you and you'll get one email a month. And I think you're really gonna like the email. 
Thank you so much. I hope that you have a blessed week and I look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.